So I'm not sure why the Chinese people are just so damn good at badminton, but they are. And you guys obviously heard of the double scandal, but I'm talking about the singles right now. And China had an all Chinese final. So obviously whoever wins this game is going to get a gold and whoever loses this game is going to get a silver. But it's so sweet when you can have two uh, people in your country facing each other for a medal. It's like, who do you cheer for? But it doesn't matter. You can just cheer for every point just because you know you're getting the gold and you know you're getting the silver. But it sucks having to play like your, like that's probably your buddy over there that you have to beat. But it's going to feel so nice beating them and getting the gold medal, but it, it probably feels like shit getting the silver medal losing when you could have beat that person. But anyways, Lee claims the gold. In all Chinese badminton finals, I, it would be amazing if Canada made it in there, but we only went for the bronze medal game for the doubles game, but we never made it in for the singles game. Badminton is a hard sport, and I guess China perfected it so good, but there you go, they add to their totals, but, di but right now, America's actually passed China for the most golds, and they're one down for the most overall medal, so it's a, it's a high competition right now between the states, and between China. I really wish Canada was up there. I can say Canada's going for first place overall, but we're nowhere near there. We're like 22nd or 23rd right now. But did you guys watch this game? And what do you guys think of that freaking scandal that happened again in the doubles game where China got eliminated? But although China got eliminated, I'm pretty sure that there's another doubles team in there that got a gold medal. Freaking China. So damn good at badminton.